All right. So I usually don't do these type of videos on my channel. Well, I just recently, you know, a couple months ago, as some of you know, just got started back on making videos. And obviously I don't do these types of videos. I never thought I'd be the one to do these type of videos, but I guess there's a first time for everything. So let's get started. Just a little side note for Ken. Let me talk about how beautiful this sweater, whatever you want to call it, is. I love it. My mom got it for me for Christmas, and I almost had a heart attack. Like, literally. I love roses. If you know me, I love roses. Maybe it's because of the red hair. So I like red flowers, more specifically roses. I don't know. I don't know the answer, but okay. Get way off topic. Way off topic. Alrighty. So today I kind of want to do a little bit of a rant, if you want to call it, because I am getting to the point where I'm annoyed that I see this on a daily basis. And just because I make this video doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stop, but maybe it will, I don't know if you want to say educate people or make people more aware, and that's all I'm hoping to do. So... I had a doctor's appointment in Cleveland, nothing new, had one last week, like, Cleveland's like our second home, like, go there all the time, right? And, since it was in the morning, well, it really doesn't matter if it's in the morning or the afternoon, really, because almost any time of day, it's like really, really busy, but it seems like the morning on weekdays is super busy because people have work, so they like to do it before they get to work, or, you know, in Later in the evenings, it's super busy because maybe people just get out of work. I don't know. Whatever. That's besides the subject. So, it gets super busy, so we can never, ever, ever barely find parking space, right? So, we have to go all the way to the top 10 on Rainbow Babies in Cleveland. Yes, Rainbow Babies. I'm still in the pediatrics, some of them. I'm slowly moving back to, uh, not back. Slowly moving to the adult side because of my infection and all that so they wanted to make sure everything was all right with me before they moved to the adult side so slowly transitioning to different doctors but still with some just for a uh, little health problems just to um get those taken care of first anyways besides the point uh what happens when we come out the same time that happened the same thing that happens all the time right sorry i apologize for that my home phone keeps ringing so well i should say our mostly my mom answers it i don't Anyways, it uh, keeps ringing, so I have to keep pausing, and if my cell phone rings, I'm going to have to take that, because I'm going to make another appointment. Regardless, anyways, um, so what happens as soon as we come out, somebody parks next to us. Of course, we're not in a handicapped parking space, because all of them are taking, and if anybody has been to UA Rainbow Babies in Hospital, and go all the way to the 10th, you know, floor, whatever, parking space, um, there's really any handicap so good luck with that if we're lucky we'll get one and sometimes somebody will still park next to us on the lines okay people need to get educated about what those lines are they are for extra space to get the wheelchair out it is not that difficult to a do your research i mean you shouldn't really have to you should, it's kind of almost common sense but um at least to me, you would think so, but hey, I've grown up with this, so I know maybe some of you guys don't know, and it's okay if you don't know, and you do that kind of thing, but still, if you know, and you're still doing that, that's kind of, there, there's no excuse for it, that's ridiculous, in my opinion, really, really ridiculous, you know, on top of that, what is ridiculous, that people will use other people's handicap placard thing, whatever, Majiggy, you know what I'm talking about, to use the handicap space when they don't even need it. You're taken away from somebody like me who is in a wheelchair. Obviously, you can't see my wheelchair now, but I'm in a freaking wheelchair um, from sitting there and parking in that spot. And that is aggravating because if some of us, like, well, I say us because I say we're all as one that are in the wheelchair community. If somebody else that is similar like me that is in a wheelchair needs that parking spot and they are can drive I can't drive yet hopefully in the future we'll see but if somebody else can drive that's in the wheelchair they can't get out if they have a side if they have a side ramp or lift because somebody else is parked there like 
I don't think anybody understands that. Like, I mean, I think some people do, and they understand their, uh, and they are generous of others, but I think other people could just care less and are lazy. And I don't like that. I don't get why doctors give out so many of those handicapped placards to people who are not technically handicapped. Like, what are we going to do? If you break your foot, you're technically handicapped. So, hey, let's just give out this placard for you for a month or for you to go. No, no. Anybody that's like me or similar to me, yeah, you can, you know, you can have one. But I think doctors nowadays are just giving them all out for all these reasons because I see almost everywhere I go, me and my mom see every single one, if not every one, is taken up. And sometimes businesses don't understand how to do a handicap parking space, okay? Bear with me. Some people, they would just put a handicap, say, okay, this one's handicapped, but don't have the lines next to it. Now, that kind of irks me, too. You know why? Because, obviously, if it's a handicapped space, it's supposed to have those lines for extra room in order to get the ramp out. Um, it's not it's not a regular parking space if you don't have the lines. It's just a regular parking space. It's not handicapped. Like, get the hand people. What are you not getting with that? I don't know, but I think this subject is really important for everybody in the dis disability community to advocate on. I know a lot of uh, my friends have advocated on it. I have a little bit. If you uh, watch down to my stories and struggles that I deal with uh, down below, a few videos down. I think I did address this issue as well. I'm pretty sure because this is one of the very major like issues we go through as a disability, you know, for somebody with a disability. And I understand if you travel, you're not going to know whatever usually. I mean, you could call ahead of time, but some of the places you are traveling, you're not going to know if they're accessible or not. That part I kind of understand. But if you're in basically your hometown or going to places you go like way too often, like every place should have some kind of handicap accessibility. There's no excuses to not have handicap accessibility. Like it just it's it's 2018 people get your shit together if you need somebody that's an advocate get somebody who is really handicapped when i mean really handicapped i mean that can actually go around any of the businesses or whatever you are trying to make handicapped whether it's a parking space a bathroom or whatever it is and have them tell you what they think they specifically need so they can help others too because our minds are kind of almost trained almost the same way if you think about it yeah everybody has a little bit of different needs but basically if we're all in the wheelchair and handicap you know we're all going to have basically around similar needs you know it doesn't help if you have somebody somebody that can walk in a wheelchair go and oh i can reach this i can reach that, i could do that okay but in a way you can still cheat and you can accidentally move up further because you can't walk and it's yeah it's accessible for you but it, now it's not accessible for me because you put it up a little bit too high than what, you know, the towels need to be or what the soap needed to be, okay? Like, I'm sorry, but I just need to kind of rant on all this accessibility issues and because I think it's still, and it's going to be, I know it's going to be for a while and it's not going to change, a big, 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 big issue. It's always been a big issue. It's got it's gotten better. It's gotten better. I do agree on that. It has gotten a lot better, but it still has a long way to go. And I don't think we're going to see any progress unless people are willing to give us a I don't want I don't know if you want to say like a chance, but a, a um it's not going to get better unless, like I said, companies or businesses or whatever it is or even hotels or anywhere are going to let people who are actually disabled sit there and, you know, make it accessible for everybody. If you don't have somebody that's truly access, you know, truly has a disability, um, you know, let you know what you need to change, it's never going to get better. It's always going to keep going in the same direction and around in circles, all right? I mean, I just, I don't get what people are thinking. I, But when do I ever get what other people are thinking? Nobody ever thinks like me. And I mean, I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse or what, but yeah, that kind of irked me because I mean, I deal, we deal with this every day, if not every other day and not that every other day, it doesn't piss me off because it really does. But today was kind of my breaking point and I wanted to share that all with you. Um, I know most of the people that are in the same situation as me will 
agree with that and if you don't agree with it well then maybe you aren't actually disabled are you all right so i don't know what else i gotta say i thought this was gonna be a short little rant but of course i keep going da 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 that's 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 what i do with rants i just keep talking you just need to tell me to shut up yeah i should probably shut up now should i <laughs> also yeah almost forgot it's been a long early day people and i did not plan to make this video but i did i did take a little um snippet of it went um today of the parking situation i did black out the other guy the other person's um uh license plate and stuff because um they might have not known that i was handicapped but there's still a sticker okay there's a sticker too there's gonna be stickers on a lot of people's vans that are um handicap accessible now in the paintings and the placards that say handicap what color are they blue of course, right? Right? Yeah. Blue. So what colors are the stickers most likely going to be? Blue. At least mine is. Most of them should be blue. All the ones will probably be other colors. I think the other one we had was like white and then green, which is really weird. They should all be blue because that signals handicap. And it says allow more space for a, lamp, a ramp or a lift. But of course, do people read that? No. Whatever. Besides point. Anyways, I did um, take a little video this morning when we were at the doctor's of... Um, the parking situa situation that happened that I kind of explained or tried to explain. Um, and of course, like I said, it was a, a regular handicap spot. So I will show that um, right now after I'm done babbling on and then we'll get to the end card. Okay, here we go. So yeah, that was my kind of unexpected bonus little video for January. Surprise. I don't know if you're happy, you're sad about it. Give me a like, give me a dislike, give me a hey comment, give me whatever the heck you want. Show me something. Show me something. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I could do more of these videos like this. If you want to hear other ramp rants, rants oh lord i cannot talk ever on any kind of topic whether it is disability related or if it's not whatever i think comment those down below and i i can rant on every any topic you want me to some of the i mean if i have knowledge on it if i don't maybe i'll search it up and give you my opinion we'll see comment below if there's anything you want me to rant on that i could do next so i could continue this series if not I will be sure to find some more things. Believe me. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. And yeah, bye. Love y'all.